bang here we are hello hello it is wednesday evening and it's time for show and tell show and tell show and tell there the echo is gone <laughs> yeah i was noticing the echo i seen if i could fix it on my end that but was I mine i was i was <laughs> doing it it was me we got it let's see how fast this grows we got 12 people here right now and then it jumped to 32. <laughs> that's a quick that's jump amazing. It, 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 i know it's amazing yeah. it? really the the recent videos have you noticed what's happening mm -hmm. we're we're at we're uh increasing at 2000 views a day which is wow. a very solid a very solid growth that is awesome it um i i the biggest videos i've ever had 49 biggest ones i've ever had after a year are at four four to five thousand views a day wow it's just amazing that's awesome I know it's incredible. You're going viral. They are, yeah. I've got I've got two or three viral videos that are just after months and months and months are still growing. So that is one. The don't clean your tank is the biggest of my life. <laughs> right? Biggest one. Some of the, the best time. advice too. I mean that. Yeah, that's it's probably a, saved a lot of fish. Two million views, nearly, nearly. Wow. I think it did hit two million. I haven't I can't find it anymore? It's lost back in the woods somewhere. That but is it's awesome. uh, the the algorithm loves it. Mm -hmm. Amy is here. Hi, Amy. ABC. Chloe Rambo. Marvin Casal. Marvin needs a wrench. Julie needs to get up here and do wrenches. Come on, Julie, get up here and do wrenches. <laughs> Who else? Uh, Raven Raven says, finally home for the live. Bravo, Raven. Give you a wrench. And nice to have you with us. This is Ty McDaniel. Love you too, Ty. Going to make you a moderator. Get your very own spanner there. Guppy Town Aquatics 500. Hello, hello. Bunch of newbies then. Nice to see you all. Joe Sneed. What else is at the top? Not quite. Moonshine is here. All right. Down to the bottom. Branton Lightcap, Mason Wood, Stan Pittman, East Texas in the house. Raven Solve. Raven Solve. However you say that. DC H V A C. When do we get a wrench? You already got one, Turkey. <laughs> Jeez. Some people. <laughs> Paul Vaco. Vaco. You need Paul needs a wrench. Well, he's got one. It just hasn't popped up yet. Jacob, age nine and a half, made his resurrection tank. We scooped it out of the canal, and we have minnows and snails with plants. Thank for all you do. Oh, that's fabulous. That's awesome. You go, Jacob. Well, won't you bring Jacob up and let him show off his resurrection jar? That's where we're at tonight. We are at Show and Tell. Come show us your natural aquariums. And this is Dina, my sidekick, Dina. Here, smiling away, making everybody <laughs> happy. <Thanks. laughs> Trying to. <laughs> All right. What else is going on? Let's see. There we go. I got stuck for a minute there, Matthew. Matthew Hoover. 
Mason Wood says, what up, Dina? Sailor right, Red. Up? Can hey, I use Mason, false? Get on here and show us your tank. Well, all right, here we go. All for my boys. Except we need your picture. <laughs> all for my boys, you got no camera. We're dead in the water. We'll get you back up when you get there it is. Okay, we got you now. Let's see what you have here. All for my boys. Can you hear us? Can some, we ah oh, there we go. We got some guppies in here, Father Fish. Oh how you sure do. That's a big fat female you got there. Yeah, she's ready to go, man. Oh, she's gorgeous too. Really pretty fish. That's the mama tank right here. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they look great. What's the male? Is that a half black? Got to be a half black. I'll show you the males here. <laughs> but I'm blown. Oh, beautiful. oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's a male veil. Stunning. That's a real uncommon fish. Most of the half black veils. And I, I love the, I love the snow cap. The iridescence on the on the uh, the dorsal, the dorsal fin and the dorsal part of the body, that is so yeah, they're, smart. they're pretty man. They really are stunning, gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> fish. Now, were they bred locally? Where'd you get them? Yeah, the guy I got them from, he called them blue metal dragons. And, I, know his and he, he said he knows you. Oh, what's his name? Do you know? I know his first name. His first name is Sean, and he's from Minnesota, and he sells fish. Oh, of course. I know Sean. Wonderful. All right, man. Great fish. Good job. Here we got some babies. There's Look at babies. that. Look at that. And here we got my kitty coming to say hi. Uh, he, he likes helping with the fish. I'll bet. Get out of there, mister. <laughs> so you're doing guppies. Very nice. Very pretty. Thank you. Now, thank you for coming up and showing us that. Let's let's see what Jeff's got here. Thanks for having us on, Father Take Fish. Care. You bet. Nice to see you. We love you, you guys. Love you, your guppies. All right. Guppies. Jeff. Are you there? He was here and now he's gone. Where'd he go? <laughs> he left. Are you there, Jeff? He was up and then lost his picture. I don't know. Well, we'll wait and see if he comes back. It's so. flashing a little. He was waiting patiently. And then uh, his, I guess his camera went off. I don't know what happened. Uh, the link is the link is on is uh, uh, tagged. You can find it mm -hmm. at the top of the chat. It it also is posted. Uh, this is open forum tonight. Anyone is welcome to come up and show us your tank. So come show We're, us your tanks, you guys. Right. We're showing off showing off our aquariums tonight. Mm -hmm. And Jeff's still here, but he's, you know what I need to do? I need to, I need to kick him so he can come back in. Jeff, oh, come on back in. I just think those guppies were amazing. Aren't they gorgeous? The, the females were so colorful. My females really are not that colorful, but mine are just mutt guppies. So. <laughs> yeah, they're really nice. DCHVAC, yeah. thank you so much. For the four ninety nine super chat, that's such a big deal. It's YouTube has made it impossible to for for creators on on my level and below to actually make enough money to support the channel. So your your gifts and donations make a world of difference. They make it possible for us to be able to do this. It doesn't come free, folks. It never does. It used to be 
that you could make enough to be able to pay for it, but YouTube isn't doing that anymore. They're not allowing people under a million to make any money at all. Um, I should be making about 20 times the amount that I'm making right now. I'm not going to give you numbers, but it's too low for me to, to, to do much more than pay the electric bill. It's really pretty poor, which means that the plant business is really the key to the key to my operation here. So if you need plants, please do check out check out our uh, plant store. Somebody will get the link oh, posted totally there. Uh, get over there and take a look. We've got lots of plants. We guarantee everything. It, it will come into you in beautiful condition. And, and we've got a tremendous variety. Uh, also have T-shirts. Lots of merch at, in the same place. Jenny has been pumping that real hard, and she's she's got some brilliant merch. Paul, back a lot of beautiful designs. Paul, can you get your camera on, and we'll bring you up. I've just got his uh, logo, and I'll have. I don't. I've got his sound, and uh, maybe. Hold there, yeah, we, we can Hold hear on. you. We can't see you. Hello? He can hear us, but he can't audio. I've got audio. I don't have video. I wonder why that did that. I don't know why that did that. <laughs> well, he's now disconnected, so I'm going to kick him and let him come back in. People are having trouble tonight. Yeah, I had some trouble getting online, too. So Did you really? Mm-hmm. Huh. It took me about five minutes to actually get it to connect for some reason. Wow. Usually it's just instant. Instant, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Dark Slayer. Hello, hello. Cornwall is here. Yeah. <laughs> Cornwall's up all night. Is Erie is here. Erie's got to be here. Yeah, it's pretty late for those guys. It certainly is. Alex Nelson. Thank you, and we'll check it out. I guess he's going to check out the plants. That's great. It is wonderful. You'll be very happy. Yeah, uh, the plants are amazing. I've ordered several times. They all come in healthy. And yeah, the merch work. is the merch is on the uh, it's, the merch is both on the website. That's fatherfish.fish. The shop is also on the website Every link to everything involving Father Fish is at the website, fatherfish.fish. So if you can remember that, you can get to anything. Go there and it'll click on, even. it'll even click on our Brazil supplier. We're going to have an Australian supplier shortly, an Indonesian and an Indian supplier. Uh, we, awesome. we will be we're we're gonna be at seven suppliers around the world <laughs> providing nutrients. Okay, Donnie is here. We'll get him up before he gets lost. Donnie, can you flip your camera? Oh, uh, that's what Yeah, it's uh I think you can try it the other way. I don't know if oh I think if I do this. Make it roll. There it is. You got it. Brilliant. So I've been on a few times, but <laughs> you figured a few things out. Yes, you have. You so, have a very a very distinctive aquarium there. <laughs> so yeah. I have two loaches in here. A Hillstream loach and nice. a Pornea loach. What's the Pornea? Hillstream I know about. It looks like the hill stream, but it's more of a spotted pattern. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. And nice. this was coated in like a brown algae. They've since discovered it, and now they pretty oh, much Oh, cool. Care. Cool. Yeah, I'm just looking at my tank. I've got to get some algae eaters. My you know, algae is taken over my tank. Yeah, I, I spot like test nails. So right above my finger, there's one. Oh, look, absolutely. Is that ram's horn? What is that? Do you know? I can 
think it is ram's horn. Probably, think, yeah. I think there's a trumpet snail somewhere around. Oh, cool. So I think they've been working at it, too. Right, right. Trumpet snails are great. I like the way MTS they MTS for, uh, for the substrate. They really work the substrate. I trimmed the octopus because they started getting... They were just, like, covering the surface. That's a great plant. I don't have any. I need to get some. I have to send you some cuttings. <laughs> yeah, I took one of the things and put it in this tank. Nice. And since then, with uh, I think these are autosynthesis. I have three of them. Okay. And nerites. Nice. They've been able to like keep the algae down. Oh yeah, nerites are great workers. Yeah, they cleaned they all. Really the are. Looks like we lost Paul again. Paul get, came up, he was up, and then he disappeared. Paul's having trouble. There's a big mystery. Ooh, that's a really big one. That's a big one, yeah. A big, a big gold. Looks like there might be another one. Right here. Oh, not, cool. Not mystery, but a mist? Do you think it's a mist? It looks like it could be a mist. It's kind of round. Possible. I haven't noticed that. Oh, nice. With this nice banana plant there, it's like dying off, but it looks like it's spreading out. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, bananas. Their their leaves don't last very long. And they, all. The, like the banana roots, they all fell off. Oh, did they? Oh, darn. Um, is your is your tuber planted about halfway down in the in the substrate, or no. is it just floating free? It, it was just free floating. Okay, so put put it down in there about halfway. Do you think it's back? Yeah, the roots will do better that way. Java moss took it over. All oh, right. I just put a tiny bit in there. Covered and there, and there it goes. Right. All right. Ah. Java moss now. Nice. I like it. out of the tank. There. Yeah. And then that same thing happened with my guppy tank. Oh, cool. Where it's just growing right out of the top. Yep. Oh, yep. Nice ferns. Isn't, oh, beautiful beta. You got a little beta in there, yeah. Yeah. The fern, I took a sprig off of the ferns in here. That's how I started. Oh, my yeah. Nice. This is guppies. There's a small hill stream loach that never seemed to grow past that. So I put it huh. in. And then this tetra thinks he's a guppy. I think they're a very slow growing. He's about three years old. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's why I just threw them in this smaller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I figured it'd be okay. He seems satisfied to be there. Nice guppies. They had babies. The camera won't be able to pick them up. They're still super tiny. Yeah. You, know, you might want to get some floaters in there for the babies. The only thing is I have the hang on back filter. So it pushes it. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I'd like to go no filter, but this tank's really old, so I kind of just want to leave it as it is. Never a bad idea when things are going well to leave alone. You can see uh, I had a mystery snail outburst, but they've since... Oh, cool. Yeah, right. Died off. That it, yeah, I've had that happen, too. In fact, I've got a tank right now that has about a 1,000 white dot babies and my sense is they're disappearing yeah. so there's lots of algae there's a baby lots of algae but uh, it takes more than that somehow my brother was telling me that their shells just sitting down here is really good for the guppies well it yeah it, it certainly dissolves calcium in the water it doesn't hurt a thing it's Generally beneficial. 
Well, thank you, Danny. Very nice. Yep. Thanks for having me. Take care. Bye. And Paul never came back. I don't know what happened to Paul. And there she is. There's Nina. Good. <laughs> We're back together. <laughs> uh, what do we got? We got 107, 125 people here. Remember Go to hit the like button, back. guys. Yeah, let's get let's get some folks up here. Come on up and show off your tanks. You know what? I'm gonna take my sweater off. It's hot in here, and show off my new merch. I like that shirt. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is. She does so good with those designs. I don't know how she does it. Oh, they're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, she really does. They're just gorgeous. And that has some. Uh, she's got some fish things that are just stunning. Uh, Dan Rose is here. Hey, Dan. How are you? Good. How are you? All right. Bottom fish, I got a question to ask you. Sure. I need to my uh, plants. Why are they looking a little, I don't know, the camera. I might have to turn it around. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. You see how they're like, they're real red. Now they're like turning brown. Well, you know, the, the red plants, most of them are grown outdoors in direct sunlight. They require an extremely intense light. You, uh, it, there's nothing wrong with them. They're not dying. They're uh -huh. just not getting the luminescence. To be able to keep that red popping, okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Don't worry yeah, about it. Put another light on if you want to. Okay, so just don't worry about the plants the way they. Yeah, everything else looks good. That, there's nothing wrong in there. You're doing fine. Okay. Because I'm going to be, I'm going to be getting another tank soon. Well, I have it, but I have to uh, set it up. So. Oh, great. I'm going to order the the um, the dirt from you. Yes. And the, and the plants from you all at the same time. Okay. But right now in Philadelphia, we're, we're like in the cold right now. Yeah, it's okay. We're shipping well. Everything is okay. shipping really well. So if, they sit, if it sits outside, the plants won't die? Well, they I live should, in if it's a few hours, no. I mean, overnight they might. But okay. They'll be all right for a few hours. They're hours. thermally they're they're thermally packed and we're not you're not down to freezing. They can handle right down to freezing. They just can't okay. handle freezing. Okay. But plants do well in the cold. They hold up well. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Take care. Bye, Bye, -bye. for now. Okay, Paul. Paul made it. <laughs> Yay. All we right. tried we're try there's Jacob. Hi, Hold on, Jacob. let me. Hi. Let me hey. get the there. there. There's our tank. Your, flip your camera sideways. Let's see if it'll give us a full, a full view. Just oh, yeah, that's great. Let me see if I can. I wish the camera would flip around, but can you see that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting a reflection from your TV, I guess. Sir. I think but, that's my. Your your boy was in there, in the shot. Well, Are you like, still there? Yeah, you still there? I I think we're having buffering problems. That's what's going on. It's all this stuff that's happening in the atmosphere He's that's right. causing the problems, and there's a lot of that going on. We've lost uh, Paul. See back? No. Again. <laughs> Did Hi. you lose us? No, Hi. you're there. We got you. Okay, here we Hi. go. All right, I'm going to hold it steady. We're on our okay. back patio. Yeah. And this is our tank. What you're seeing is the reflection of my phone. I'm going to hold it so you can. Oh, okay. okay. Is that better? Yeah. So we we dug this out of the canal. Wow. The sand, and we pulled the minnows out of the canal. 
and we we bought we bought the we bought the plants from a plant uh you know a, i think a pet supermarket or something okay nice and put together we got a surprise we got a surprise with some uh snails snails and uh, there's a oh, big cool. snail in there that dig he digs himself in the in the dot yeah tell him jacob like they, yeah, you he might wanna, in the sand. oh is that right you might want to yeah, watch out for him he might be an apple snail and if he is he will eat all the plants so just keep an eye on him okay we okay. will yeah. you don't know whether he's friendly or not yet <laughs> Yeah. What well, thank I you, guys. That's wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's see. Natalie, Netta is here, but we don't have uh, audio or camera for her. So, I'm go well, there she is. There's Netta. Is it? Netta's. Hi there. How do I flip my camera over? I'm Just confused. turn it. Let's see. Okay. So here's my fish tank. Okay. Oh, how nice. And can you see it? Yeah. And I followed your directions. I did oh, three substrates. Yeah. And the top layer is sand. Okay. I have um, two houses where the fish can hide in. Okay. My, I have guppies. I have a snail. Real plants in here. I have some fake decorative plants. I have four tetras. And I also have two um sucker fish and okay. when i put those sucker fish in oh man they went to work they went uh, to work they clean this tank really really well nice. and i just wanted to give a shout out to you and say thank you because this is my first fish tank well and you mentioned that you're on your way it's looking great it's so what clear i i really thank you for your help i mean i watch welcome. videos for i probably watched like 30 of your videos before i set this tank up uh good for you <laughs> Good for you. Well, you're doing really well. It looks great. Thank you. Um, the only question I have is it looks like my plants melt a lot. Is there anything I can do about that? Don't worry about it. So okay. long as new leaves are growing, they're okay. fine. That's what you want to look for. Is, okay. Is new, new leaf production. If they got right. new leaves, it's doing fine. All right. Thank you again. You bet. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Nada. You did an awesome Bye. job. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, Patrick Smith. Hello. Patrick. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing very well. We got you. What a pretty tank. Well, this is my second attempt at this one. Uh, I had a little bit of plants the last time I showed this on, uh, on your show. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, I have a pleco in this tank as well as seven harlequins and on the last tank that i had he decided to uproot every oh my um so i went ahead and got your 15 plant the, the package and set this yeah. back up uh -huh. yeah so it's like uh it's about a week old now nice i have a question though sure number one should i should i find a new home for that pleco or yeah i would gamble i would Okay. Yeah, if he's gonna be a, you know, a, a, a terrorist, then move him, move him along. There are yeah, some so fish. There's some fish that just won't tolerate a planted tank, and you, there's nothing you can do about it. You just need to move them on, put them in something they can survive in, or okay. they'll be happy. And it, and it's, if I did, is the seven? Uh, it's a thirty gallon tank right now, so is is seven i'd like to really upgrade my harlequins and put a lot more over there you could there. you could have a hundred of them in there oh wow no problem okay. at all yeah it's a big enough tank to handle a lot of small fish the more plants you have the more fish you can have that's the rule of thumb okay so if you've got that tank so thick you can't see through it you can put that many more fish in Okay, and is it, I guess, is it common or possible that maybe a, um, a pet store will take that Pleco back? Try them and see. Tell them you want to trade it, that, okay. that you can't keep it. 
usually they will. A Petco might not, but any any uh, local mom and pa store certainly will. Okay, okay. Very Looks cool. great. So, yeah, the next phase after this will be trying to get a resurrection jar going and trying to get a little bit more life in that tank. Sounds perfect. Yeah, it's looking good. Awesome. Looking Thank good. you. Thank you. Take care, Patrick. There we had somebody else up and they went away. So maybe Come on, guys. get in line and get on. <laughs> really? Mercy. A lot of beautiful tanks though. We got 130 people in. I think we're peaking at 130 today. Might be. Yeah, that seems to be a fairly standard number for us, curiously. Yeah, it does. So you you put you're building a fish room. Oh, that's what I'm hoping to do. <laughs> One tank at a time. <laughs> That'll be great fun. So okay, yeah. Jake Talbot is here. Hi, Jake. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Flip your camera sideways. Let's perfect. Oh, yeah, Sorry. that yeah, it's not working the other way. It's that's fine. We can it's a really pretty tank. Thank you. You got a Thanks. big beta in it, so it's what yeah. about ten gallon? He's, is it? He's going with a little bit of fin rot, but I'm curing it so far. Okay. What are you doing for it? Um, I have used like a uh, beta fix and stuff like that. I see. But mostly, I've just been trying to do lots of different water changes. Just keep it clean, yeah. Yeah. Control the bacteria. That's kind of yeah. the key. Uh, if it gets a bad spot, you can put a, just a tiny dab of neosporin on it. And that'll okay. kill the bacteria on him. Yeah. So that's a nice way. Pull your, your camera up real close to the tank so we can kind of get an inside look. Yeah. That is so nice. Yeah. Really looks, so, I love your rock work. Yeah, thank you. And the plantings are just very impressive. What size tank is that, Jake? Like a five gallon. A little tiny guy, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Little tanks can be so really pretty. It's easy to make a little tank pretty. Yeah. Easier, I should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks nice. Now you've got what? One male better. Are you going to try to breed it? You're going to get a female? Um, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to see what my parents think. Okay. Yeah. Well, it'll be great fun if you can do it. It's yeah. There's nothing more fun than having a bunch of baby bettas. Yeah. They're, they're just funny little wigglers. What should I do about the string LJ? I'm getting quite a bit of... Just uh, keep, keep taking it out by hand. Just oh, pull yeah. it out by hand. If you keep at it, you'll, you'll defeat it. Okay. You just have to, every few days when you see it, pull it out. It okay. grows in single long strands. So if you get every one of the strands, you've got it. All right. It just uh, takes some, some effort. Usually you can do it in a couple of weeks. Just by staying, staying with it. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Jake. Nice to see your tank. Yeah, thanks. He did an awesome job with that aqua skate. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Nice. Let's see, um, <clears throat> you got anybody no. else to come up yet? Oh, where my camera is. Where's my camera? Nobody yet. There we go. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, I'm excited about getting the fish ring built. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? You're doing it as a fish room studio. That's what yeah. I'm trying to do. Yeah, it's kinda kinda be my um studio for doing live streams and studying and just basically a little wrinkle of fish tanks. <laughs> right, right. How That's many seventy five gallon? Uh, well I've got that seventy five gallon I hope to pick up this weekend. 
And uh, then I've so got a 40 gallon column tank and a 20 gallon column tank that I want to put in there too. Okay. Let's see who's this. Dave. Dave is here. Hey, Dave. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Nice to see you. Uh, nice turn, to see you your, turn your your uh, your phone sideways. Let's see if we can get a full picture with it. Oh, uh, with the tilt, tank too. Just tilt tilt your camera sideways and see if it'll go full. Yes, perfect. There you go. Perfect. Oh wow! Look at Which this. Tank do you want to see? I have several. Oh, it's up to you. You tell me. Your your I, choice. <laughs> my goodness! I'm trying to get it so we can get it straight here. Sorry. Is it upside okay. down? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. My goodness, I'm trying to get it. I guess I just pointed at it. There you go. Yeah, oh, that's there you it. go. You got it. All you right. got it. Yeah, I've, I've been on, I think I was on the first stream when we had some audio things going on. But Okay, sound. yeah, right. <laughs> got all that sorted out now, I think. Wonderful. Yeah, this one Right, here. I remember. Yeah, pull yes, in I'll... tight. Let's get a tight look. That's a yes. nice looking tank. Thank you. Yeah, this is, um, I have like 18 of your father fish tanks set up, so. Oh, wow. I just, I'm getting ready to set up a goldfish tank, actually. It's going to be oh, a fancy, cool. fancy gold, uh, planet goldfish tank. I, nice. I picked this tank and stand on um, on Saturday for 50 bucks, so. Wow. Oh, wow. It's, six, 60, it's a 60-gallon, like, uh, it's kind of square. It's uh, it's really nice. I could show you if you want to see. I just painted the stand. I just there. bought one from uh, Petco. A oh, did you? Cube. Yeah, big cube. I'll show you real quick. It's right over here. It's kind of dark, but this is the. Yeah, it looks like the same one. <laughs> wow, pretty impressive. Yeah, this is empty. When, I'm anxious to get that one going, but. That'll be fun. Well, your tanks. Like, this one's like a. This is a shrimp tank, Neo Cardina shrimp tank. Cool. You Where are you that? located, Paul? Uh, you mean Dave? I'm in. Uh, Dave, North I'm North. sorry. That's Pardon? Okay. Paul, Dave, it doesn't matter. Close You're enough. where? North Carolina. Oh, okay. Not too far. Yeah. I know. I wish I were closer. I would love to meet you someday. I mean, Six hour maybe. drive. Not so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of far. But yeah, yeah, you can see some uh this one is supposed to be blue neos in here, but they they kind of hide. Then I have this one down here. It's a little red one. There's actually a baby. Oh wow. Well, I think yeah. that's a baby. Somehow fish just sometimes appear in here. I'm not exactly sure why. Like oh. little baby fish i don't know if you can see that one it's right there it's tiny wonder what it is I, it's either a probably some kind of tetra or something because um what i do a lot though is i take there's there's a there's a shrimp there a red one um i take the i take them out and uh at, like floaters out of my other tanks and, oh uh, right so they got eggs in them yeah and this is my luna i showed you this one before well right i, I just got moving all the rock and I had to arrange the sump. I had a, one of my poppos for a reason. I think I drowned it, so I had to oh. take it out and put a new one. Yeah, in the it. leaves don't like to be in the water. Roots do, uh, but the leaves don't. I'm not sure if it was. It was aquatic. It was in like the uh, warm, warm plant area, so I oh. had it. Sump, but I took it out, and it's. But it, the fish, I didn't lose the fish or anything from. It. I just most, and I would. I've been meaning to. Take out a couple of fish that were being super aggressive in here, but as you can see, these guys are pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, cheap. pretty docile tank. Yeah, but uh, yeah, nice. it's that corner one. I think I showed it before. This is like all live bearers. I is that a one. thirty or a sixty? This one know? is a sixty corner. Yeah. Wow. So nice. I re I had to reseal this when I first bought it. It leaked, so I resealed yeah, it. Yeah, that's why they don't make them anymore. Yeah, they're really awesome. I love this tank. This is like one of my favorite. Oh, they ones. are. Yeah. I built the stand here too. It's a little dirty, but but yeah, these are the guys. I love the. I got like a lot of the plants. I got. I got. I only got. I want to get some from you. Um, some of the most of the ones I kind of, I trade for like. I sometimes will sell like plants I have and trade with people and we swap back and forth. You know, so. But um. Is that octopus? No, it's not. Yes. It is. Yeah, okay. I think it is. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. Well, I'll trade you for some octopus. Cause <laughs> there you go. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Yeah. So these are, um, like I said, these are like my live bears. A lot of the smaller ones you see here are babies that have grown. So there's like, okay, right. There's like, if you, I don't know how far in I can go in and still see, but there's like, yeah, it looks great. That's good. 
there's like tons of babies like in there like you can see there's like java moss growing on that piece of driftwood uh -huh. back there and uh i got some crypts and some um uh, amazon sword and some and nubius yeah but these all these rocks i i pulled those all came from nature all everything in my all my tanks came from none the only thing that i think um that isn't from nature was like i think i had a couple pieces of driftwood because so i've had tanks for years i've kept I'm an, I'm an older guy, so I've had tanks like almost my whole life, you know, so I, I've right. held on to like wood through the years, you know, it's like this, this really big piece, I don't know if you can see it in the back, but I bought that a while ago, it was actually two pieces, it was in like a 125, and huh. then I, but if, if I had to cut it, it was too big for the old tank I used to have, but yeah. this is the piece that's left, but it has these really cool like ram's horns things sticking out of them, but, but this tank, right. for, this one does the best out of all, all the, the substrate, this is all sand from a river. Right, and this is your this is uh black diamond blasting sand. So, and I mixed and I, what I did is I added ice cubes frozen with your supplement mixed with the oh cool dirt. yeah. So I had I, that's why I think it's kind of so lush. You know, I mean, it's so much plants in there because it's yeah yeah dirt. You know, but, but yeah, this one is doing really good. At first, I couldn't for whatever reason the plants didn't really take off in this tank, but now it's like you can see I have like look I have the the yellow uh, white mountain minnows. This is, these are all cold right. water. So all my tanks, except for like two, are unheated tanks. I don't use any heaters on my tanks. Okay. I don't. I try to stay away from mechanical things. Like this thing here is. I don't know if you can see that, but I, I added that little. Um, it's like one of those hang-on um, breeder boxes. Can you, is that showing up? I don't know. Yes. But this one is actually got. It's connected to a sponge filter. So it, the sponge oh. bubble. Rather than use that, you know how normally these they gurgle. I don't know if you ever used one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gurgle from the air because I have right. I have essential right. air, so it feeds the it feeds the sponge filter and the bubbles, um, you know, create the flow. So this like I was going to have some poppos and oh, I want to do another cool. one and have black worms. Nice idea. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was wicked cool because you're actually I'm using my my one power. I have one. Um, one pump that feeds all these uh, tanks. So right. I have I said, like, except for one tank every. I have air flowing from all of them, and it's not a real expensive pump, so it's a great way to save on money, you know. Absolutely. Oh man, it's amazing what's happened with pumps. There, it's a, the one thing in 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 life that has gone down in price and up in quality. Yeah, well, that's the thing. With the, all my lights, are all um, these are all like shop lights. LED like, I, shop I, I got lights. this for seventeen at Harbor Freight. So I know yeah. awesome. I do it. That's what I do. Yeah, it's it's senseless to spend like five hundred and something bucks on a light or whatever. Yeah, you right. Get up for so cheap, you know. For twenty bucks, right? <laughs> it's crazy. All my tanks, is, I think, some of the tanks were actually given. Like I had a, a gentleman I met with like, last year. He was getting out of the hobby, and he had like eight tanks, and he just basically was giving them away. So I'm yeah. like, I had I couldn't just give him. I couldn't just take them. I gave him some money because I felt bad. But like sure. not not the smaller ones, like this one here. I don't know if you can see this one, but this is like a 30 long. Oh, um, yeah. I got peacock onions, rice fish, CPDs in this one. Nice. So these, they know, right? And the, the peacock, the gungeons actually um, have had babies in here, too. So Really? Yeah. Cool. So that's why I have, I don't know if you can see, like, the white, that's like PVC pipe. They seem to like the breed in those. Right. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That yeah. Nice. So, but yeah, it's like, I, lo I love your. I love your tanks, man. I've learned so much. You, you've made the hobby like so enjoyable for me. I, I'm, I can't say enough like great things well, thank about you. you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Done. That's very kind. You, you brought it. You know, I can't say enough. It's a new love to the hobby that I never had before. Because it's because you don't spend your entire time taking care of tanks. You can they just kind of take care of themselves. Just I, right. I never any right. water. Exactly. I just water. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Dave. Enjoyed it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You Come on so back. Well. Take we, care. We need to take a deeper look. Sounds Thanks good. Matthew. Where'd Matthew go? He was there and he's gone. Hello. Oh. There he is. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Father Fish. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, yeah, so I got my tank. I'm not sure how to flip the camera, but... um. Just try it and see if it'll work. Uh, turn, turn it sideways. Okay. Let's try see. it the other way. There you go. There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect. 
so I got um I, I was so happy to find your channel because you know I'd been so frustrated with the aquariums, but I just set this up um about a week and a half ago wow. and just finally stocked it with uh fish last Friday and I mean I got guppies and they're just so happy in here and there's a pleco hiding somewhere around here but nice yeah so I, I just want to say thanks and all and <laughs> you know um I had a question so I was watching your video um on feeding fish and these yes. guys are going to town on the algae that's growing in here okay um it, how long should I like we if, if I'm remembering correctly you said wait a week after you introduce the fish or well, yeah I tend to do that I okay. think before I, mainly because I don't want to stress the system. It's still, oh. you know, it's still just getting started. And when you do start feeding, feed very, very tiny amounts. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Yeah, that's, um, here's my tank. Yeah. Thank you for, thank you for your it. time. I love it. That's great. <laughs> Look forward to seeing it develop. All right. Thanks so much. Have thank a nice night. Thank you. You bet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love those guppies. Yeah, that Nate Ruben is here. Hi, hey, Father Rich. Let me get you on. There we go. Hello, Father Fish. Hello, Ruben. I'm back. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Beautiful tank. It is a beautiful tank. All right. So um I just wanted to show it again because um uh, it's. It, I think it's a good time because I just fed them and they're all out and about. Perfect. Yes. Right. Yes. And I have a few questions. Sure. Um. So right now, all the lakes or like any bodies of water in Alaska right now are frozen, and I was thinking if I can uh feed them like frozen Daphne for a little bit. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Yep. And the um, frozen foods are the next best thing. They, they really are the live yeah. food. And uh, right now, um, there was this sale at my local fish store that three for $20 for a monos. But uh, he accidentally uh, ca uh, caught a bamboo shrimp. And I was like, I don't know how to take care of them. The amano? Uh, the, um, uh, he caught a bamboo. A bamboo oh, we caught a bamboo shrimp. Yeah. The bamboo is much bigger than the Amano. Was it a little tiny bamboo? Yeah, it's right here. Right oh, now. I see. Filter. It's filter feeding on the hob filter right now. So it's okay. Yeah, but um, I heard like that you still have to uh, feed him like you know manually. Well, no, the 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 bamboo shrimp is a filter feeder. Oh, alrighty. They that you know the wavy fins they have with they wave in front of their mouth. Those are like little tiny fans that sift out the water, and they they catch microscopic microscopic food with that. Okay. Like little paramecium and stuff. They're All right. Really, a, they're an amazing feeder. Okay, so it would do fine in my ten gallon, right? I would say so, yeah. They okay. tend to be pretty hardy and pretty easy to keep. And they're remarkable and just a very unusual invertebrate. Well, I just came here again to show you my tank. I've well, been thank really you, loving Robert. The setup. It's very nice. I like your tank very much. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's a beautiful aqua fish. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. I love the way that the wood and the plants, and stuff, everything goes together. It looks so natural. Yeah, some people can do that. I, I can't do yeah. it. I haven't tried doing an aquascape with wood yet. I've been working with stone. <laughs> Just wood oh, okay. intimidates me a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> I might try it in 75 gallon, though. I might eventually try it. <laughs> I've done a lot of different things with wood. The, the one I enjoyed the most was um, a, a, a very badly rotted pine trunk that it put in a 250-gallon tank, and it oh, kind wow. of filled the center of it. And it yeah, deteriorated pretty 
rapidly. So in a year, it had fallen in half. But it oh, provided okay. tremendous, not just tannins, but nutrients for a whole host of invertebrates. It was, it was really kind of cool. That is Christian, awesome. Christian is here. Let's see. Hi, Christian. Hello, Father Fish. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, nice to see, wanted, you. see you. It's good to see you. It's good to talk to you. Thank you. Turn your I camera wanted, sideways. Let's see if we can get a full picture. There you go. Perfect. Uh, this was my first uh, tank that I tried with the Father Fish method. And uh, it's a 10-gallon setup. Well, it's pretty impressive. Well, I did, I did it a little bit different. I mean, I used the, the recipe from the Discord for your uh, supplement. Okay. But I used a layer of white sand nice. on top of the, the dirt. Right. And then I topped it off with black diamond blasting media. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And the plants have just went crazy. I mean... I can't believe the growth. Isn't that, Isn't that amazing? I know. It is. The, the tank looks shady, actually, because I started with baby Amazon swords, and they were like two inches tall. Right. And now they're floating on top of the tank. I and see that. Everything. I see that. <laughs> I've actually had this tank set up for uh, since February the 4th. And I, I started with a lot of tissue culture and really immature plants, and I can't believe what they've done in just a little over... Almost two months. Almost two months, yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks really, then I, really good. It actually got so overgrown that I took over half the plants out and started a 75-gallon tank. And uh, Oh, good for you. With me, if you hang with me for a second, I'll show you that tank. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Is that Caradina shrimp? Oh, no, I don't I don't have any shrimp yet. Um, I thought I saw a shrimp. Okay. Oh, beautiful angel fish. Wow. This wow. is this is my 75 gallon that has been set up since uh, uh the first of March. March the sixth, I think, was when I set it up. Christian, I think you got the magic touch. Definitely. And I wanted to ask you about this uh Cryptocorin Winnie Green. Winnie I yes. Green. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I purchased that at a petco and it was a pot plant. And when I took it out of the pot, it appears to be a ton of plants, you know, right, right. all together. Yeah, would pull it, them apart. Would that be the best thing to do? Sure. Or, or, yeah, okay. it'll get, it'll, it'll yeah, get, with yeah. what you're able to do by doing that, you'll get stands of them. It'll, okay. definitely, I'll have all the autos in there. Yeah, I just got, I just got them the other day. My I need to get a bunch. I need about 50 autos, I think. It's turning a little bit green right now, but I'm trying to. I'm starting to cut back on the light, so I think. Uh, Don't worry too much it. about it. Don't worry too Don't much worry about too it. Much the, about plants, the plants. Yeah, the plants yeah, will the keep plants up. Will They'll catch up with it. And this one plant in the middle of my Ludwigia. Yeah. The top, the tallest one. Yeah. I was making my resurrection jar at the local pond, and I saw a little bit of green sticking out of the mud, and I pulled it up. It was freezing water and it was covered in mud, but I brought it home, cleaned it up, and put it in the tank, and, and it, it took off. And it's absolutely the prettiest wow. liquidity I've got. Wow. wow. How nice. It's uh, a beautiful color. Yes, it is. Yes, it, is. it really is. It really That's is. gorgeous, That's isn't gorgeous. it? Huh. Good for and you. And I've got a couple of uh, African Congo tetras. Okay. Okay. And a couple of a breeding pair of angels in here that I actually have a twenty gallon tank full of their offspring. Oh, how nice! Oh, I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this camera. I can't see what I'm. It's what I'm doing fine. Here. It looks good. Not a problem. And I've got a, a Ponagetan longiplumulosis. Yeah. That's yeah. that's just starting to come up. I'm really excited about it. It's a real plant. impressive. Have you checked out my uh, plant store? I have, and I intend to purchase some plants from you because I have a 60-gallon long. And yeah, I got some stuff I think you'd like. Yeah, I've got three more tanks 
that I'm going to be setting up in the near future, a wow. 60 gallon long and two yeah. 20 gallon talls. Nice. So I'm going to need a lot of plants. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I got a beautiful Madagascar lace plant. But I see the that. Thing with, the only thing with the Madagascar lace plant is that it's starting to, the leaves are starting to lose their bright green and get a little dull. Well, there dull should be new leaves green. coming up. It, it, it may it simply may need to hibernate. Yes, sir. And I got uh, drop off, then hibernate that bulb for about six months. Okay. Yeah, and these uh, valicinarias, I planted 12 valicinaria plants on one side of the tank, and then I, I brought it down from valicinaria and I planted a bunch of sed, uh, Sagittaria. Yeah. And yeah. I planted them, like I said, less than a month ago, and I planted 12 plants, and I've got over 25 valicinaria. Look at that. I know. Wow. That's, amazing. Amazing. That's one. It's, it's like a forest in there. Really? Yeah, really? And really? I want to thank you for uh, for everything that you do because I've been keeping fish for 30 years and I'm finally doing it right. Well, it, I, you I, certainly I are, Christian. Sure. It's, very, it's impressive. very impressive. I didn't start doing it right until I started watching your videos and I just really want to thank you for that. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I also, one more question I had before I get out of here. Sure. Um, sure. My white sand layer is uh, starting to turn really, really gray. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something I should be concerned about? Not at that... all. No, that's, okay. that's the soil working its way up into it. Okay. That's totally normal. All right. Well, I've got another 55, but the lights are off right now and, uh, I, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I'll show it off. The well, next thank time you, Craig. Yeah, come on back. We're here. We're we're look forward to seeing more of your tanks. Okay. Well, thank you a lot for having me. You bet. Bye right for now. Bye bye. Stallion is here. Hey, Stallion. Hello. 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 We managed to get it landscaped this time, so this is the seven foot tank we're looking at from a distance. Oh, uh, nice. Yes. Um, I didn't mention last time, I insulated all my doors with um, it's stuff for, you know, like car bonnets to keep it warm yeah, in the yeah. winter. Right. Huh. So I've done that. I've got no no heaters in these bottom tanks apart from one, and they all stay heated at 20 degrees just with this and the heat from the big tank. Nice. And they so, look great. This is the uh, under gravel filter. And uh, the one with the sponge, and look at look at the clarity of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. And um, this candy, she's a bit beaten up at the moment. She's just giving me uh, some fry. She's just, I'll show you the girl. Yeah, but they're only small fiber fish. But I want to talk to you about this. I spoke to you about six months ago, and I said I went to one of the pet shops, and um, pregnant female was in the angel tank. So I said, can I have that? Can he have that guppy? Look at the colony now. That... Oh my. Oh, oh my. Baby. She's, she's forever giving. Not only there, Father Fish. I've got some of her offspring over here as well. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and that's fun. That is wow. Um, yeah, this tank is run by USB. The light is USB, the filter okay. is, and I don't, yeah. don't know if you can see, but there's a tiny heater. Now, the advertisement was lies. It said it can heat the tank up to 20 degrees, but the best they ever got was 20. Ah. Uh, well, the so flat good. looks fine. Sorry, sorry, what was that, Father Fish? Oh, the plant looks fine. It's doing okay, and I've only, I've only added this light today, so... It's just been getting the light off this source, but because we're using the reflective, it's bouncing off, so it's getting yeah, the light. Yeah. yeah, right. Before I go, I don't think you're going to see the babies because they're only four days old, but I've got some better babies in here. That is awesome. They're very small. They're only, like you say, they're what not like they? guppy. Got a guppy baby? No, no, better HMPK. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. As they grow, I'll show you that. You say. Yeah, yeah, um, a little hard to see. We'll look forward to yeah. seeing them as they grow. 
Yeah, absolutely. Before I go for the fish, I'll show you the uh, the koi room Look at that I'm working bit. on. Oh, that'll be awesome. This, this. So, look at them now, Father Fish. Wow. Wow. Get them bad boys. <laughs> They're beautiful. Aren't they something? Beautiful. Yeah, koi are astounding fish. I just Nights. got this new pump. Nice this cascade. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's just a spoon. It's just a sponge filled up with a um, built-in motor, so I just, okay. I just threw it in. Yes. Yeah, I've got a few up here. These these are going tomorrow. Some guys going to pick them up. Uh huh. Get a few huh. in here. But um, found fish. Got the heater in now. Oh look at that! I got the oil radiator. The damp. The damp is now gone. Uh huh. Huh. Uh, I need to uh, install. Do event for the old one. Yeah, all right. Wow. But yeah, well, I'll see you soon. I'll probably come on Thank once these. So Enjoy yeah. it. Bye Take care. My my. Yeah, the koi setup. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. Oh, we're at one fifty-seven. We jumped. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, we haven't been looking at the uh, chat. Let's see. I'm I'm all the way back at the beginning here. I think Cornwall is apparently still with us. <laughs> yeah, he's still with us. I'm at um the present time on it, and yeah, he's still right here. Still needs to come on and show us his tank, so. <laughs> right. If I can get timestamp turned. What on. else there is there? Three G. Yeah, 55 in the chat now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Ugh. I don't see any questions yet. Anybody else want to come show you show us your tank? Uh, tonight's been amazing. We've had a lot of amazing tanks on here. Yeah, they really have. <clears throat> It's so interesting. Nice to see how... Yeah, get okay. somebody. Who was the guy who? Uh, the two, two, two people. Was it Christian? Two yeah. ago, who um, had all the really pretty tanks. Mm -hmm. He uh, now he said he's been in the hobby thirty years, but didn't know how to grow plants. What what he, what he demonstrates is is the body of skill. That he's developed over the years, that getting him focused in a way that has allowed him to develop planted tanks. It it just, um, I mean, it's so impressive. Yeah, it is what he's done, and it's that's not something that that comes easy or naturally. It 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 takes a lot of experience to be able to do that. And he did an amazing job. They're gorgeous. Really impressive. Are we doing time wise? Where are we? Um, we are we're five we? minutes. DC just hit us with a five dollar super sticker. Thank you, DC. That's awesome. Thank you. Very kind of you. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Ooh. Planted goldfish tank. Would that even work? Don't they eat plants? Yeah, there are <laughs> plants you can keep with goldfish. Really? Um, the problem is that goldfish, goldfish are, they're a carp, which means mm -hmm. they're a bottom feeder. So they're used to picking up like algae and eating a lot of algae, um, dead leaves, that sort of stuff. They get stuff off the bottom and chew it up and, you know, Get get nutrition out of it. Rambo is here. Hey, Rambo. That's beautiful. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. What a gorgeous pond. How big is the pond? Um, I think it's about. Three meters across, one point five. 
Yeah. Five board across. Five by ten. Five by ten. Very, very nice. It's gorgeous. And you've put an enormous amount of effort into decorating it, haven't you? What What is that in the bottom? Is that bricks or what? Uh, no, nah, that's a sunken ship. Oh, my. Oh, how wonderful. It's awesome. How neat. Oh, so cool. So cool. I love the lily pads, too, and those bonsai are just My amazing. word. Oh, my. That's a labor of love there, Rambo. Yeah. Took about um, two months to build. Yeah, plus another another two years to decorate. <laughs> That's an ongoing process, isn't it? Uh, or you got some bonsai there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I had issues with green water for ages, and then I put some more um, rocks on the bottom, and okay. it just cleared up. Isn't that amazing? Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, it's very, very nice. So you do have lawn furniture surrounding this, I, I take it. Sorry? You have lawn furniture around your pond so you can sit there for hours. Uh, uh, just a small bench. Oh, my. <laughs> but most of the time, everyone's just standing up, looking around it. That's gorgeous. Yeah, you need some, uh, some meditation space there. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Thank you, Rambo. That's very, very impressive. Where are you located? Uh, in Australia. Oh, okay. Mel Melbourne. Okay. I was wondering why it was bright sunny. Right. Those guys are so gorgeous. Aren't they something? Yeah, that's Maybe really it's nice. Perfect meditation spot. Right. Thank you, Rambo, very much. No worries. See you next time. Bye bye. That's okay. amazing. Get guess who's here? Hey, you're back. Hi there, Father Fish. How you doing Wednesday night show and tell? <laughs> how are you? How are you? All right, I won't keep it for too long, Father Fish, but I have a question for you. I got this year a letter from somebody in the show. Everybody at the show has been helping me out with my brand new Father Fish tank, and I, I thought I'd read this letter. Okay. Show and tell. All right, let's see what it says here. Uh, all right. I think I can read. Uh, it says, you're there, Captain Jim. Oh, I like that. Uh, I think you need to clean out the barnacles from your ears and listen to Father Fish. Uh, you need more plants. You will Sign, learn. Nani Miss. All right. right. Well, I can't agree more, Nani Miss. Well, call me a scud and make me swim sideways. I guess I do need more plants. But let me yeah, tell you, you what do. I did. I look look at these plants, Father Fish. What do you think about them? They look fine. You just they they just look oh, they look a little lonely. It's all. They need some more, don't they? They do, but they look good. But you know what? I you know how I got these fish. I didn't pick them. You picked them for me. I went out and I got that Father Fish plant pack. And you okay. told me that these here are baby tears, right? Yes. Let me tell you, I like these baby tears, Father Fish. Well, I like I them. I, you know, I think I sell baby tears by themselves. If well, good, because well, I need I'm more. Sure it gets up. Okay. Can I, can I, I'm excited about these baby tears. Number one, I like them because they're just a wee little plant. And I've got me a wee little five-gallon tank. Right. Number two, I can take my cutlass and I can cut them up and make more. Right. <laughs> and uh, right. number number three, babies like bottles, and uh, Captain Jim likes bottles too. I just like different kinds of bottles. That's a great bottle. Oh, thank you. And uh, you know, I looked up the fancy name for baby tears. Maybe I don't smell. I mean, I might not smell too good. Tears. Yeah, I like but tears. I, but I like the Latin right. name. It says, uh, "I drink the rum, yo, bro, want some." <laughs> Which I, I, that's a pretty interesting Latin name, but I like that too. Yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> All right. Well, I like that they make a carpet because 
with all the tanks that you're inspiring me to make, I'm not going to have a room for a bed anymore. I think I'm going to have to sleep on that carpet when That's I get all right. it. Done. That's all right. You can curl up around the fish tank. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go in there and try to get a few winks now, Father Fisher. It's getting late. So uh, thanks for having me uh, on thanks here. Thanks, Captain. All right. I'm out here. Right I'm going to go the fish now. Arr. Arr. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Funny guy. Yeah, he is. We're at nine o'clock. Well, we've hit the witching hour with that. Who's uh, that's? Jim um, somebody Phil. has a question for you at eight fifty-six p.m. Aqua Phasma, I believe, is their name. And the here's what they said: there was a period in time three point five years ago I didn't buy fish. The reason, wish me luck pronouncing this. Calamanus. Calamanus. Yeah. Calam Cotty? Camelanus. Camelanus. Nothing oh. kills Camelanus. Oh. There's okay. there's no cure for it. But there is a there's there is adequate prevention. And the prevention is when you see it on a fish, you remove the fish immediately. Do what you will with it. Make it comfortable somewhere else, but get it out of your tank. If you if you will be dig, diligent about that, you will stop it because it has a life cycle and it cannot affect, infect other fish unless it goes through that life cycle. So by pulling an infected fish out, you're stopping it in that tank in at one point in the cycle so it's not able to perpetuate itself. But it can be difficult to do that because very often you'll see it after it has already been in the tank for a while and infected a number of fish. So you may wind up losing a substantial number of fish. You may, in fact, wind up losing everything. Wow. So it's, huh. it's something you simply need to be aware of. It shows up as a, a small white patch on the dorsal surface of certain fish like neons and guppies. If you see anything that looks like a small white patch where the color has gone out of the fish, remove that fish instantly. Don't leave it in there one more minute. And any more you see that have that kind of condition, take them out as well. You've got to be extremely harsh about it or everything will die. There seem wow. to be some fish that, that, uh, that are not affected by it. I, I think it's probably the scaleless fish are not affected by it. Um, but it, there's no question it's a terrible scourge. Doesn't come up often. It's pretty uncommon, fortunately. Oh, that's uh, good there, news. There's a lot of discipline. It's one of the things there's serious discipline in the hobby about. Guess who's back? Who? Christian is back. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, there we go. I decided to wake up the 55 gallon just to give oh, you a look at it. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, wow. This was actually um, a bare tank, basically, with Echo Complete and nothing but hardscape because I had totally crapped out on plants and it was just done. Yeah. yeah. Until I watched your videos. And so I did what you said. I just dumped the sand right in. I took everything awesome. out dumped the sand in, tank was cloudy for a couple of days, and then it cleared up. Right on top of the eco complete. Isn't that interesting? I planted it extremely heavy to start with, and it would be a lot heavier, but um, these guys like to just tear the plants to pieces yeah, and rearrange do. everything. Yeah. yeah. Some of them do. Oh, right. Right. And so, uh, you know, some of my plants can take it, but most of them, 
like I had a lot of Ludwigia, and I don't know if you can see it in the back there, red Ludwigia. They eat all yeah. these off. Yeah. It's nothing but sticks. And I've That's got some convict cichlids doing that. Yep. Yeah. They they take uh, swords and cryptocurrins when they start, start putting out new leaves. They eat the le new leaves off the end, so all the new leaves look bad when they first come out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And and they tear up the the tiger lotus. Yeah, that's one yeah, of my fish that I no longer enjoy. enjoy. Is the yeah, I, I, I'm thinking seriously about rehoming all of these yeah. guys. Yeah. To be honest, I like the little Oscars. I had plans on a 75 gallon tank for them, but I don't think they're going to allow me to plant them the way I want them to be planted. Well, maybe. maybe. Uh, yeah. 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 Now, sever them do better. You can oh, do sever them yeah. in a planted tank, which seems odd. Seems odd. And, also, and also, also things also like chocolate cichlids and and yeah. some of the uh, um, oh, the garami will do all right we'll do in a right planted tank. And I've got a couple of uh, nearite like snails the in there. That's the, you can yeah. see the little eggs everywhere. All right. Oh. All right. Yeah, I saw your festivals in your tank the other day. I, I've been. Yeah, I know that. somebody. Somebody noted that was you, was it? I, I, yes, I, sir. I, yeah, I, I yeah, noticed I, I that noticed in the, the comments somebody had noticed them. them. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking for festivals everywhere. Nobody seems to carry them anymore. I got two at Super Cichlids, which is I think all they had. I ought to try to get more. One of those fish that. The, your your severums are really nice. Oh, they're beautiful. They're gorgeous fish. They're a good old school cichlid. You don't see a lot of them. That's anymore. right. That's right. But I, I mean, I love them. They're they're absolutely gorgeous, and they look good in a tank with big angels. Oh, they do. Yeah, they're not really a bother. They don't go after anything. They're not aggressive, and they won't tear up the plants. Are they? They're easy on the plants. Yeah. Yeah, they're better. Yeah, that's. I think I'm gonna probably. You should be able to keep them. Yeah. And the Oscars will be okay. The, the Oscars could do fine. They're small enough that they can get used to the plants, and as they grow, not tear them up. Can will the Oscars be able to stay in this ten gallon tank? I would. I would try it. I mean. 55 gallon. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would try it. I would leave them in there as long as you can. Yeah, I was thinking of the convicts are the real problem. Yeah, I was thinking about getting rid of those. They're actually polar parrots, uh, blue polar parrots. Well, oh, they're gorgeous. I know. There's so many really new convicts coming out, but they're they're real terrorists. Yeah, they are. They they are abusing my angels that are in here and uh, exactly. They're actually always fighting with each other. So, I mean, I'm right. probably going to rehome them and move the angels and just keep the two green severums and the two uh, Oscars in here with a few. Yeah, uh, I think it'll be great. It'll be great. Uh, the flying the fox, fox will do well. Do well. But I, I got, I, I collect all my wood myself in, the, in, in nature. That's I a don't, stunning, stunning piece. piece. I don't buy yeah. anything. And the rocks, most of the rocks are naturally collected. There's a couple of uh, rocks in here I picked up just because they were so pretty. This one here, I don't know if you can see it good, is a piece of petrified wood. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. It's oh, kind of hard, awesome. yeah. hard to see it. It's laying there. You can see the wood grain in it. Yep. Right, yep. Yep. Uh, right here. Nice. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Very nice. I appreciate you. Here's a ton of angel fish. <laughs> you bet. Bye-bye. Look at that. Dr. Mo Wait. is here, but he's turned his camera off. There he is. Oh. Let's get let's get him up here. Dr. Hey. Mo. How are you? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I set this tank up with my girlfriend about two weeks ago and just put some more plant and fish in here yesterday. Nice. It looks good. Looks like it's, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's a 32 gallon. We got about 10 fish in there. Okay. Uh, some 
Tetras and some Daniels. Nice. I would start working on a food web. Yeah, we're waiting for the ice to melt so we can get out to the lake and grab right. some yeah, grab some natural right. food right, for our right. fish here. And we just That's picked awesome. up a fifty-five gallon here, and we're gonna set oh, this cool. up in the coming days. Is this gonna uh, bother nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a, a you little view at our tank here. I took all your advice. So. You bet. Hey, talk to you later. Okay, take care. You as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's a beautiful tank. That, yeah, wasn't that fun? Is that, so father, I set it is up that father fish, she says? <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. That's sweet. All right, before anything else happens, let's get out of here. That Love sounds like fun. <laughs> Wonderful to be with you all. See you. We'll be back. Um, Oh, I'm going to be uh, on Lucas's channel Saturday night at 7, so make sure you catch us there. Awesome. And, of course, I'll be back here with Dana on Sunday for our uh, open forum. It's not an open forum. It's a and a I guess. It's a whatever happens. Like we, we, we're, pulling, we're pulling a video off of last Sunday's, it looks like been working on that so we'll see how that goes <laughs> all right love you all bye for now bye guys love y'all